Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be practicing some passport makeup. That's why I'm looking really ratchet right now because we are going to get snatched, hopefully, in a minute. So I need to retake my passport because I damaged mine and the picture honestly looked awful anyways. It was like five years ago and I have five more years to go, but since I damaged it, I need to get a new one. So I thought this is the perfect time to really utilize the passport makeup trend, which is just like very snatched. Like it's giving model off duty, which I am not. I have a very round face and a very small eyes, a lips, everything, but we're gonna try to snatch this small petite face up. I recently got my brows laminated and I absolutely love them. Shout out to my girl, Ashley. So first step is I'm already primed and I'm going to go in with a matte foundation because I'm very oily. In photos, you really don't wanna look extra oily and glowy. So I'm gonna use the Dior Forever Matte. The spatula just allows for more of the even and precise coverage instead of splotching it all on. I find with the spatula, it just blends out a lot better. If you're using a spatula to apply matte foundation, you don't wanna wait as long to blend it in because it will dry. It's much more fast drying than a glowy foundation where you could put it all over your face with the spatula and then blend it in. You can't do that with a matte foundation. You really have to blend it right after you put it on your skin. And it just really gets into my pores and creases for like a flawless finish. Lately, I've been loving the new Tower 28 concealer. This is a serum concealer, so I feel like for pictures, it has a little bit too much of a natural glow. I wanna be like as matte as possible, especially since I'm so oily. Maybe if you're not as oily, you could get away with it, but by the time I fix my hair, put my clothes on, I don't want a ton of shine. So I'm actually gonna go in with the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer instead and just get all my red spots along my nose. We'll get my eyes, a little on my chin. I'm actually just going to gently take this under my under eye instead of putting so much because I don't wanna crease either too much even though we won't be smiling. Since I have such small eyes anyways, I'm gonna be extending my eyeshadow out a lot. So I'm not really gonna use this at the moment to lift anywhere because I don't have space, but if you do, definitely use it to lift. I also really don't have room on my eyelids to carve out my eyebrows. So if you do, I would say that would be a good time. I mean, I can like slightly try, but honestly, it's just gonna disappear when I put eyeshadow on anyways, but I'll show you just because if you have more eyelid space than me, that would be good to do it for photos. Now we're gonna contour. This is the Fenty Beauty Stick in Amber. Usually to contour for everyday use, I would take this, put it on my hand, and with a wet beauty blender, I would just lightly contour. But we're trying to get snatched today, so we're gonna go in hard so this shows up for pictures. So let's just do it. I have such a round face that I'm gonna bring it down a little. We're gonna do our nose too to try to snatch it. I'm gonna do a little bit more after because nose is smaller, so it just kind of all disappears when I blend this out. Why not go for our lips too while we're at it? To blend this out, I'm gonna use my chiseled contour brush by Patrick Ta, just to get it more precise. And you definitely wanna go up with it, not down, to drag your face down. Make sure to blend it into your hairline fully so you don't look too crazy. I know I'm looking ghostly white on camera, but after the contour, blush, and eyeshadow, and all that good stuff, I'm going to bronze, so I feel like it won't look too crazy. If you need to make your forehead smaller, now's also the time to do it by contouring up here. 
much. Mine's kind of okay, but let's just do it for funsies. As much space as you need to disappear is where you need to contour. Next, let's do some eyeshadow. I've been really loving this little eyeshadow. It's the Ink Pot Ink Pocket Shadow Palette by Peri Para. It just has a good highlight, like neutral lid and contour color. I'm actually gonna build a little bit of a base with my Fenty stick. Again, I have no eyelids and I always look so small in photos. So I really want to try to open my eyes and elongate. So I'm really gonna take that all the way out here. A little under my eye as well. Then I'm gonna take the highlight from this palette and get the inner corner of my eye. I'm gonna go in with this other neutral color to get my lid. A little bit under my eye as well. Then I'm gonna take this brown color. I'm gonna keep my eye open for this just so I can really be precise of where I want it to go. I also think I want a little bit of a wider shade on my inner corner, so I'm using this busted old going coconut palette by ColourPop, and I'm taking this shredded color, just like on the inner corner, blend it in a little bit more, just to make it pop slightly. Tell the difference. Just kind of make my eyes a little bit bigger and make them pop a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Dior in the whitest highlight shade and do my inner corner. And I just want to make little C's. I'm going to take it out a little bit onto my nose bridge more. Then I'm going to use this Glam Under Eye Pin it's in shade Air Peach to highlight under my eye. It's pretty good for Aegyosal too a little bit, which I don't really want to do a ton of, but we'll do a little bit. See if that'll help make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna take this Peri Para palette. I'm gonna take this glitter and just use a little bit. I feel like glitter is not the best for photos, but I wanna C shape out a little bit more of my eye. And then I'm going to take this neutral color. This is my favorite of this whole palette. It is Chic Gray. It's just a really cool tone to kind of define my under eye a little bit. Just a little bit of a color. Starting from my pupil out. I also like to take this brown. You can see it's like really busted. This is to the rose garden and wet it down to get like the base of my eyeliner because I'm really, really shaky. I don't know why, just 24 seven my life, I'm very shaky. So I wet it down. And I'll just put it on the back of my hand so it's not too much product. And then trace my eyeliner um, looking straight. So I'll kind of start again at my pupil just to give a little bit of color to my lid, but not too much. And tracing out. Again, for this eye, start at my pupil and wing it out. If I do too much eyeliner, it really closes my eyes off. And you can see where my lid is. This just all will be black and it'll disappear. So I can't do too much. I feel like if I just use a soft brown like this, this really helps to have a little color, but not close my eye off too much. I like to do this just because then I have a line and a starting point for my liner. And that way I don't get it too opposite. My eyes just are not even. No matter how I look at them, one is always off and one liner I feel like will be really high up and one will be really out and I just never can quite get it right with where my eye folds. But this helps me a lot just to have a base point of where I need to go. So this is the part that I dread using an eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with the Clio brown. I feel like for most of these pictures, they've used a brown eyeliner just to get like that wing snatch natural-ish makeup. I don't like brown, but I'm gonna try and see and maybe not switch to black. I feel like my eyes are just so small that the brown just doesn't do enough, but let's try. This is again my most dreaded part because I'm so shaky. I have to put my elbow down on something to do it. Not bad. 
I'm gonna stop there because again, if I do too much, it's just not good. Definitely sisters, not twins, but I feel like it's not too bad, right? Like they're kind of going in the same direction. After I do that, I like to go back with my eyeshadow just because I feel like it helps elongate where I did my wing, my winged liner. A little bit underneath. Okay, I feel like we're looking a little snatched, right? I cannot get over these brown lips. Like it looks so awful. I'm going to curl my lashes and then do mascara before I finish with the rest of my face. Just because I'm very shaky and I always have to use my face to kind of hold my hands steady. So I feel like I'll end up with little marks and then I can kind of put the blush and bronzer over that and hide that. I also have no eyelashes. Why we have to fake it, right? I just restocked my favorite, favorite mascara. My eyes are very sensitive. My skin is very sensitive also. So this has been working the best for me and I've used it since they've released it pretty much. I'm not gonna worry too much about the ends. I'm gonna put some halfy lashes on. I'm gonna focus more on the middle and inner corner. See how pretty they look with just the mascara? Like this is the best mascara. I'm gonna re-highlight underneath my eye just because when I went in with that brown shadow again, I covered up some of the highlight. I'm gonna use these lashes from Ardell Lashes. This is the lift effect. I like these because they're just really pretty and natural, but I actually cut all my lashes in half. Surprise, surprise. So I'm gonna use the inner corner one of the lashes for the outer corner. My lash glue I've been using is by Doe. We're just gonna mold the lash a little bit and let it get tacky and stick it on. And just bending this little miniature Polly Pocket lash, giving it some shape. Obviously, if you're using full lashes, you can do the same, but I can't looking kind of snatched right my i need to practice my face too you know like my chin too is looking pretty good with that contour so i just curled my lashes a little bit because my camera was overheating and applied a little bit more mascara i feel like the eyes are looking pretty good with any look that you do you have to remember that you really want to match that look to your skin tone so this is very like snatched bronzy i'm my shade is white af so i can't do that because it looks too harsh so this is like a lot like way more than i usually do but for pictures you have to remember too that things white out and you can't see it as well so with that being said for a blush a lot of these i've seen have been a little darker of a blush to go with that contour look but again i'm just too white for that so what i'm gonna do is mix this dior pink this is my favorite i use this almost every day which this is actually beautiful on dark skin don't get me wrong it's absolutely stunning and i feel like you could still definitely use this on dark skin but this is more the tones i feel like i see for this look but we're gonna mix the two because i feel like this might be a little too dark for me and i don't want it to be too much with the contour using my favorite blush brush by rare beauty I'm just gonna really go in there this blush brush though is amazing i am going to really focus on lifting my cheeks again i'm very round and have a lot of cheek so I don't think we can smile too much in this picture. Be a little close smile, but I still want it to look a little bit more snatched. But also I am a blush whore and I use a lot of blush because I was in dance. So I'm really gonna blush these cheeks up. Let's bronze just a little bit. This is the Hoola. Again, use whatever shade is best for your skin tone. This is light. It's the lightest one they have. Every single bronzer I've ever used has been way too dark for me. But this one has worked really well. Get all the way into your hairline too. We're gonna contour my nose a little bit more. This is the palette that I use. It's definitely more of a cooler tone. Again, like this light shade is perfect, but I'm gonna go in dark too because why not? Just on the very tip and then I'm going to put a little bit concealer under my cheeks 
a little bit here where I never placed it because now I know where my eyeshadow is so that I can carve and lift. Then I'm gonna take this as my favorite powder. It is the Charlotte Tilbury, my little beauty blender. I'm gonna really press it all in here a little bit under my eye just a smidge up against my nose just wherever along that contour like you just look at that difference i'm gonna go up my forehead a little bit too and my chin and i'm gonna take a little bit more on here and carve that out again where we just went and leave it a little bit I feel like I went from a really round face to super mother effing snatched I'm gonna take a little bit underneath to like go a step above you know rare beauty highlighter and mesmerize i'm just gonna use this for the tip of my nose because it's very pink then i'm gonna go back in with the dior to snatch that out a little bit more a little bit above my lip and then using my finger i'm gonna take it along my nose bridge and barely put any pressure when it gets more to the tip. Okay, now for lips. I feel like everybody I've seen in this has a really like very much brown lip liner with like the Fenty Hot Gloss. Uh, I don't know, I feel like brown liner and lipstick just doesn't look good on me. I try so hard, but it looks really harsh. So do whatever is better for your skin tone, but I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Maybe if you're a little darker, you could use a medium or even darker, use just a really beautiful brown. But again, I'm just so fair. I don't think I can do that, but I'm going to overline my lips. It, this shade is just really close to my natural color, but a little darker. My favorite gloss is still the Dior Rosewood. So I feel like I'm just going to go with that and play it safe. Dior gloss in rosewood oh yeah see you see big passport photo lips and i do almost wear this every day if i'm wearing glass so not too far off okay my hair is curled my bangs are curled i did read that you can have bangs uh, mine are more curtain bangs so i don't know if I'm feeling that, I'm gonna do the gold hoops because I mean, the girlies are wearing gold hoops and in the photos they are also. I have seen some that their hair is down and their ears aren't showing. I tried to look online, it's kind of vague. So I think I'm just gonna take a few different like looks. Like hair behind i'm gonna have a like long sleeve on because i don't want my arm showing hair behind hair in front with bangs and then i might even slick the front down or pull the front up i'm not sure because i feel like i don't look good like that but i feel like my makeup looks pretty good and i should wear it like this all the time Anyways, you guys, that was the passport makeup tutorial look. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.